Tina Chen, former Chief of Staff to First Lady Michelle Obama, and a key member of the Time's Up Movement's Legal Defense Fund, recently said, change is not inevitable. It happens only when each of us does what we can. Nobel and Pulitzer Prize winning author Toni Morrison said, this is precisely the time when artists go to work. There is no time for despair, no place for self-pity, no need for silence, no room for fear. That is how civilizations heal. And I've taken these messages to heart. I'm Kimothy Joy and I'm a watercolor artist. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there with you today in person, but I'm really happy that I'm able to still participate in this very important event. The Me Too and Time's Up movement represent a great unveiling of injustice. They represent a reconciliation and a time of reckoning. A new kind of intersectional sisterhood has been fortified, one that demands that we stand arm in arm, listen and respect one another's stories, and refuse to be pitted against each other. We join in solidarity to demand justice and equality. And we recognize the courage and resiliency of women who have come before us, women like Anita Hill and activist Trana Burke, who coined the phrase, Me Too. As women's truths bubble to the surface, a key driving mechanism to sharing our truths is art. Art, combined with social media, can multiply our impact and spread awareness. Sharing women's narratives is key. That is why I focus my work on painting women's portraits and words. My role as an artist is to celebrate and to amplify the voices of women, whose words add diverse opinions and rich texture to the conversation. I strive to highlight the women's words that remind us of our power and that we can be influential. I think that we get to say who we are and it should not be dictated by others. Gloria Steinem said, a movement is only composed of people moving. This journey towards women's equality is a marathon, it's not a sprint. I can support the leaders of the movement and at the front of social change by bringing attention to their messages through my artwork. I'm the one who can hand out the cold cups of water during the marathon on, from the sidelines. I can keep the momentum going. I can supply the energy through my artwork. Myra Pollock Sadger said, each time a girl opens a book and reads a womanless history, she learns that she is worthless. And that is why I wrote my book, That's What She Said, Wise Words from Influential Women. My book offers a diverse, inclusive, intersectional collection of women from past and present who share their truths boldly even when the stakes were high. It commemorates the women who have come before us and who have created the stepping stones that we now stand on today. It challenges assumptions about female identities. It challenges stereotypes about what a leader looks like or what they should be. It features modern day women making history right before our eyes. For example, I've included the trailblazing Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who has personally moved the dial for women's rights and gender equality from her role on the bench. Another woman in my book, Malala Yousafzai, shows us that you can be a leader for gender equality at any age. She began her activism for girls' education, risking her life by speaking out against the Taliban when she was just 15 years old. That is why she and others are in my book, so that they can remind us that we can each do our part and we each have a role to play. When we recognize the contributions of other women, we can be inspired to find our own place in the movement. And remember, your activism can look different than other people's activism. My hope is that my book will inspire you to show up and to speak your truth too. There's even a blank spread at the back of the book where you can profile the influential woman in your own life. Even better when you fill it out and you gift it to her. This is meant to be shared as a symbol of solidarity and sisterhood. It's a reminder of where we've been and how much further we need to go. Thank you.